Hey there, fellow gamers. I'm going to show you guys and girls today how to save the orphans quick back bog from the crones eating them. How to kill the villagers of Down Warren that's been sending them down the trail of trees. And also how to save the Baron and Anna, where you don't see him hanging from a tree when you come back to Crow's Nest to get Uma. I've always disliked that course. I've always enjoyed saving the children and seeing the spirit. But I didn't like the idea of him hanging from that tree. It's not, a, it's not a pretty sight. So what I did this time, in this playthrough in seven years, I'm going to play it different. Now, if I have to lose the quest to, to make sure everybody lives, I will. So what I'm going to do right away, right here, after he tells you about Siri, you're going to tell him, no, you're not going with him to Crookback Bog. You refuse to. Even though you refuse to go with him to Crookback Bog, the, the quest will still pull up. Because I released the spirit under the tree, the children live, Down Warren's going to be wiped out, and the Crookback Bog should be empty of children. It's all going to be right, but I'm not going there with the Baron. Because when you go to Baron, Anna's going to die. So when I went to Novgren instead, the game automatically failed, even though I didn't activate it. It's a common thing in The Witcher 3. It, it, they some players confused. Nothing to worry about. If you skip a quest, they will fail on you. But now I'm back at Crookback Bog, but there's no people, but all the monsters are there. So I get to kill all the monsters, the fiends, the drowners, and everything. And my point is, there's nothing here. Everything's closed. I'm not sure what happened. So, is the bear back at Crow's Nest hanging from a tree? Because what I've done, it should be. Why are the monsters still here if I fail the quest? You call that a glitch. So what I'm gonna do after I kill this fiend, I'm heading back to Crookback Bog, and the first place I'm gonna go is that tree. Because everything I've done in this game ensures that he goes back and kills us some. There's just no way you can avoid it. If you save that monster in the tree, the Baron will die. You kill the monster on the tree, he'll live. Children are alive, Down Warren's wiped out, and the Baron should be dead. Where is he? So what I'm going to do, we'll go to the center of Crow's Nest. I'm going to see if the stars are standing there and if the Baron is swinging from the tree. He is not. 